to heal. So it's really just this two-pronged approach and it's working with two seemingly separate, but they're actually very connected entities and that's the mind-body. So the two things that you need to focus on if you wanna heal, whether that's mentally, emotionally, physically, is safety and self-worth. Now, there's a lot that goes under the umbrella of each of those things, but those are the two main factors. So if you can focus on these two things every single day, get into the lifestyle habits that support these, then it will make a huge, huge difference in your life and it will infinitely speed up the healing process. And these factors are especially crucial if you're working on releasing that unhealed trauma that's in the body. Because essentially the unhealed trauma, when that's just circulating through our bodies for days, months, years for a lot of us, that causes our nervous systems to be incredibly overstimulated. So our fight or flight mode is going all the time. So if you think about your body, if it's stressed out and if it's constantly in a threat response, it's looking for danger, it just can't focus on healing and optimal health at the same time. I mean, it's priority is really keeping you alive. So safety, and of course there's a lot of things that go under the umbrella of this, but that is a huge, huge factor in healing. So it's all about creating these habits that reassure your body that you are safe here now. So if you can implement these habits to soothe the nervous system, not only will that help release the trauma, but that's also gonna expedite your healing because your body won't be constantly looking for the next threat. So how can we begin to feel safe in our mind body, right? That's the ultimate question. And what we need to do is prioritizing our nervous system and our nervous system health. And so this includes lifestyle shifts that impact the physical body. So we'll get to the other stuff later, but right now with the safety, the main priority is physically changing up the chemical systems in your body and changing how it's reacting the default state. And this is by, how we do this is by implementing consistent daily lifestyle changes. So this includes making a lifestyle shift that impact the physical body and start to really almost reprogram and rewire your body out of that hypervigilant threatened state. And it's really important to do these daily because when you're in these routines, that is very comforting, very reassuring to the body. So if it knows what to expect, say, you know, in a certain morning routine of meditating, yoga, journaling, you know, whatever it is, it can expect that every day. So it's almost a stimulus to calm down and to be soothed because it knows what to expect. And when that unhealed trauma is running rampant through the body, it's always on edge. So feeling that safety and the reassurance of the routine that you know is gonna happen every single day is really, really important for healing. And so the five most important tips in terms of prioritizing safety, really rebalancing and soothing the nervous system are meditation, breath work, getting outside, sleep, and food. And now every single person is different. So it's not necessarily this blanket formula of do this amount of time of this thing for every single person, just because we are a little bit different, but these are proven factors that really make a huge difference with your nervous system health. So that's why it really is helpful to work with a coach who can personalize these programs to you and the techniques, depending on you, your situation and your lifestyle. And these health shifts, they may seem small, you've probably heard about them before, but they really are some of the most underutilized tools to help with healing, especially when implemented consistently. Now, self-worth, the second really important factor in healing, I have found with individuals is almost harder <laughs> than just the physical kind of objective lifestyle shifts that you can make for a lot of us, especially in terms of unhealed trauma, our sense of self-worth, our perception of self-esteem can be pretty low and pretty negative. When you've had that consistent feeling of being unsafe, you know, if you were raised in a really turbulent house, say you were in a really abusive relationship, anything where you felt unsafe, and that doesn't just need to be physical bodily danger, but even emotionally. So if you couldn't confide in your family, if you didn't have anyone to talk to, if you were invalidated, these are all things that can be stored in the body as trauma. And so again, it's different depending on the person. What might be traumatic to one person is not traumatic to another, so it just depends. But self-worth, this is crucial in order to have that safety in the mind-body and rebalance it. Because if you don't value yourself enough because of the past, because of those negative self-limiting beliefs, none of those other lifestyle habits are gonna shift because you're not gonna prioritize yourself. 
So it's, all, it's way easier to implement those physical changes and the objective lifestyle shifts when you start working on the inner stuff. So you start working on your sense of self-worth. But the good news is that this is not a fixed state. So how you got here in terms of having this lower sense of self-worth, lower self-esteem, that is not how you were born. That's not how you just came here and you thought so low of yourself. You know, that is something that was taught and something that was drilled into you. So because it was taught, it can be untaught and it can be totally cleared from the body and it doesn't have to be a fixed state. You can be whoever you want to be. So this is the first step towards that. And my five most effective tips to improve your self-worth are joy, gratitude, affirmations, stop people pleasing, and learning how to set boundaries. And these are, of course, way easier said than done. And again, it really depends on your personal situation in terms of the dosages, so to speak, of each of these things. So again, I highly recommend getting a personalized program with a coach so that we can really work on what you specifically need for your situation because people are different. But these five techniques are really, really crucial in terms of starting to improve your self-worth and totally changing your perception of yourself. Again, these two things, the safety and the self-worth, they work hand in hand. So it's all about finding balance to restore your nervous system health, to heal the trapped trauma, and to rebalance your mind body. Because when you can have the balance there, that is when optimum health can be achieved. And not just optimum health, but really just your overall quality of life can be so different. And I know exactly what it's like, you know, to struggle with that trapped trauma and really just how much it can affect your overall perception of the world. And it becomes a, you know, a state where it's almost like you can't imagine anything else. It's become such a default, but I promise you it doesn't need to be and it is possible to heal. And when you're healing and you start to rebalance the mind-body, one of the coolest things is really just how in touch you become with what you need. And it's what you truly need. It's not clouded by that emotional, physical, mental response from the trauma. It's truly tuned in to what you actually need. And that can be different on a day-to-day -day basis, obviously. So you start to know like, hey, I could really use an hour-long meditation today, or today I really need to rest, I do not want to work out, I really don't, shouldn't be moving my body, or maybe, you know, one day it's having a huge green smoothie, next day it's having dessert, not stressing, you know, it just varies on a day-to-day -day basis, but that's one of the coolest things about soothing the nervous system and healing that trapped trauma is you become so in tune with yourself and you're no longer self-loathing, you don't berate yourself, it's no longer what you should be doing anymore, it's just always in this moment, what do I need and what is serving my highest self? And that's the coolest part about healing and just rebalancing is you're so much more centered and you don't need to destroy yourself any longer trying to cope with that unhealed trauma. If you are struggling with unhealed trauma and you would like to heal your mind body, rebalance everything and finally start to feel better mentally, emotionally, physically, I have opened up some coaching spots. So if you click the link down below, you can schedule a free health consultation with me and we can get to know each other and we can talk about your goals and really what you want your life to look like. Because if anyone had told me last year, this is where I would be, how amazing I would feel free of an eating disorder, autoimmune illness, fatigue, anxiety, depression, so many things that I've healed through my transformational program. So please schedule that. I would love to talk to you. We can really discuss where you want to go and what we can do to get there. And it is possible. Believe me, if it's possible for me, it is definitely possible for you. So I'll leave that link down below to schedule the free consultation and I hope to see you soon. Bye guys.